life with the Logans. Uh, where everything's we. Everything's we. We're down and devoted to our friends and family. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And how we love one another. That's right. Oh, that's right. gonna be together for life. Welcome back to Life with the Logans. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. I feel like it's been so long since I've actually talked to a camera um, because last time we vlogged, we were in Utah and Cam was vlogging and I was still in my birthday mode so I really wasn't focused on being a vlogger. But this year, we're gonna vlog more. We're gonna vlog more this year. I feel like I feel like 30 Vicky is a new person, you know? And now that I've kind of, you know, taken some time away to really reflect and, you know, be silent and just have my me time. Now that I'm 30, I really feel like I'm gonna try to be more on my YouTube game. Today, or actually for the next couple days, we are going to be doing another ski trip basically um but this one is in our neck of the woods we are in wisconsin which is only like less than an hour away um we are going to lake geneva um for those of you who live in the illinois or wisconsin area you probably know about i didn't say less than 30 i said less than an hour away no i'm saying it's less than 30 minutes less than 30 minutes away um so we are doing lake geneva um which is like a resort over here in Wisconsin. And then we're going to, right now we're going to Wilmot Mountain, um, which basically has like a ski slope area. So yeah, we're going to um, the slopes today. And I really have to pee now, which sucks because I have on this whole onesie underneath this coat, underneath this uh, ski bib. So now I gotta try to zip myself out of it, <laughs> but. Yeah, we're here at Wilmot Mountain and uh, about to do snow things. So this is snow things part two because we definitely tried in um, Utah, but couldn't because it was sold out. So this is our makeup, our makeup for that. Uh, yeah. All right, guys, how's it going? Good morning. Warmer day though, huh? It was. It's been warm. I know. It was like 40 today. Four, five days. Oh, you will be so warm. You'll be warm. I'm warm, but yeah, it's just it was way warmer the other day. Now. So then you go. Do these tell you which no, is no, left just, or right? Just, those look so warm. <laughs> There's no left or right. I can't tell. <laughs> Me neither. Do I look professional? No. Your uh, thing matches. I know, that's why I changed it. Uh, good. As comfortable as your moon boots. Not as comfortable, but they're not bad. Nice. All right, cool, man. Oops, sorry. No, you're fine. You can do that for you. Yeah, they asked if we wanted to snowboard or ski, and I said ski because skiing sounds easier. Yeah. Which one is, is skiing easier? Is that like a thing? <clears throat> I, I think I would never go on a snowboard. But if you're starting out, though, why not try that? I feel like snowboarding is a lot like skateboarding, and I don't do good on skateboards. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> Giant. <laughs> okay, so we got boots.
a little hill because we're not that advanced yet, but we did pretty good with scooting and learning how to turn. So, yeah, fun lesson. Now I have to get something to eat and uh, then check into the Grand Geneva. What's up, everybody? We've made it to Grand Geneva Resort Hotel Ski Lodge golf course. I actually golf up here a lot during the summertime and uh, so I'm familiar with the area but I've never been inside the the resort. I've never been inside the hotel. I've never been inside any of the restaurants so you know get to experience something new with my lovely wife and we're gonna enjoy some dinner tonight. Geneva Chop House. So checking into our room now and then uh I think we're gonna eat first and then go to the room, but it's nice. Restaurants to the left? Yes. We have the room with the parking in front. It's right in front of our building for building three. Okay. Grand Cafe. We've got a map. Okay, Lulu Burger. We're going to the spa tomorrow. Very excited about it because I need a nice massage. I haven't had a massage. I haven't been to the chiropractor in forever. So I haven't had a massage. I definitely need to go back because I haven't been either. No, but they changed my guy out. Oh yeah, he's gone. He's not there anymore. It's another guy. Yeah, I don't like so him. I don't like I have to find a new guy. I don't like the way he cracked me. It didn't crack the same as the other guy. Geneva Chop House. This is giving very much Park City, Utah when we were there. It is. And we went to that one restaurant. For me and Logan. Igloos. For me and Logan stuck. So we have, we're, we're also have dinner reservations at an igloo. I think on Friday. So I saw that's that. gonna be exciting. The Chop House. We have made it. Uh, reservations for Logan. Oh yeah, that's where the igloos are right there. Well, we about to we about to dig into the menu, so. Y'all see how cute he is looking at me? I love winter cam. You know I'm a winter baby anyway, so I love turtlenecks and stuff. When he wears a turtleneck, it gets me going. <laughs> and he got some boots, y'all. Y'all know I love boots, okay? Most people don't know this about me. Well, I guess maybe they do, but I'm actually more of a boot person than a sneaker person. Like, I love boots more than heels and sneakers combined because I feel like a boot is like the perfect mix of the feminine and men. What It's a Biggie Logan question. What? They got oysters. They're tingling? They got fresh oysters. They got oysters. Rockefeller. Rockefeller. I saw they that. Royal. You know I love oysters. Good evening, Lolo. Good evening. Party. How are you both tonight? Good. Good. How are you? How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. My name is Melissa and I'm going to be taking care of you tonight. Have you dined with us before? First time. Excellent. I only ask because our menu does go through seasonal changes. So if you had, there would have been a good chance it would look different from the last time. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have as well as run through a few of my personal recommendations. Before I do that, can I start you both with a water selection right away, whether you're okay with the house iced water. Otherwise, I do have the bottled still or the bottled sparkling. Still, please. Have you the bottled still? Absolutely. I'll come right back with that for you. Do you care for lemon and lime on the side? Yes, please. Absolutely. As far as an appetizer, my two favorites are the steak cargo as well as the tempura cauliflower. So I'll give you a few minutes to settle in. And I'll come we'll right do the with cauliflower. One. Yes, we'll and I would, I would also like a half dozen oysters. The raw oysters, absolutely. Yes. And we'll do the steak um, cargo. What kind of oysters are they? They're Delaware from the Delaware okay. Bay. So they're going to be East Coast. Good. Okay. Awesome. I'll get that working for you. I'll come right back with the water. Yet another wonderful trip. Wonderful dinner with my husband, whom I love so much. I feel like, well, we haven't vlogged since my birthday, so nothing's been going on really. We went to Dallas um, earlier this week, so it's just been a hectic month, honestly, because we were only home for all of five minutes before we had to go back to Dallas 
um, Cam's dad preached at my dad's church, which was a great little like family reunion kind of because it's only like once a year maybe that we all get together, you know, like my family and his family together. So we're trying to change that. We're trying to do more vacations together. Um, I think this last vacation, I convinced my dad that he needs to go on more vacations with us. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, so we, our whole family was there and it was cool because Cam's family came and like Wanda and Lil came. So it was just a big thing. It was like a whole big, Lexus friends came. So it was just like a, it was like a family reunion basically. Um, so that was Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we came back yesterday, which was Tuesday, and today's Wednesday, and now we're here in Wisconsin, which isn't that far from where we live. We didn't come back yesterday. I said we got back Monday, and then we were home Tuesday. Oh, did I say we got back Tuesday? You said, which was yesterday. And I said, you said we got back Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Oh, we got back Monday. That's what I meant. We got back Monday. It feels like all these days are ran together because time is flying. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know y'all, do I look 30? Am I giving, am I giving 30? Ever since I turned 30, Cam is, Cam is doing what I was doing when he turned 30. I was like, oh my God, like you just are a different person. I don't know what happened to you, but you transformed into 30 Cam and I'm here for it. And now ever since I turned 30, he's been doing the same thing to me. I don't know what it is about turning 30, but if you're married and you turn 30, just know your spouse is gonna transform into a whole new person when they turn 30. I love us already. <laughs> I love 30 us already. <laughs> so we have here a regular butter, the olive tapenade, and blue cheese butter. Enjoy. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Aquapana. Yeah. All right, we've got my the shaved Brussels sprouts, mm -hmm. as well as the Yukon gold mashed potatoes. How does everything look right away? Right away it looks like it's going in my belly. Excellent. <laughs> Is there anything else that you can think of that I can offer you? So I'd be playing with there too. We just finished dinner. My hair is in my eyelash. Um, we just finished dinner. Now we're headed to our room and gonna check into our room. It's this way. It is this. Um, yeah, the restaurant was, was good. It was good. Um, our mashed potatoes are really good and our Brussels sprouts were really, really good. And my food was really good. Cam's Branzino was really good. My lamb was good. It had a lot of fat on it, but um, it was cooked right, so the flavor was nice. It just had a lot of fat, but um, yeah, so we enjoyed our food. And uh, yeah, it's been an eventful day. We didn't really show a lot of us skiing because it was very hard for me to hold. There was no way I was gonna hold a camera and ski at the same time. Like, I had to use both my hands, Cam had to use both his hands, and the instructor was teaching both of us at the exact same time, so it was very hard to actually get footage of that, so. Cam got a little clip of me on his phone skiing. Um, so, yeah, skiing is one of those things where you just can't record it. So, <laughs> we don't have footage of us skiing. But, we are gonna do some more fun activities where I'll be able to hold my camera and show y'all what we're doing. So, we really should have like got the GoPro and taped it to my forehead or something. So y'all could really see what was going on from like my perspective. But, yeah, okay. Let me find the room. This room has been cleaned, sanitized, and sealed. Signed, sealed, and delivered. morning so today is Thursday we're headed to the spa today we have a spa massage <clears throat> which I'm very excited for I have a slow start to our morning I think I'm just really tired but hit y'all up when we get out I guess 
It's really cold. It's very, very cold out here. It's like 10 degrees. My hands are freezing, so I'm gonna put the camera. <clears throat> All right, so we just got out of the spa, had a nice massage. Um, it was really nice. I pretty much didn't want to get out of that bed. It was so warm. They had heaters on the bed, and then there was heaters. Like they had like the foot, the foot neck rest things. It was so many heaters. Just felt so good because <laughs> it's freezing out here. I think we're gonna go eat lunch right now since we didn't really get to eat breakfast because we woke up late. So, yeah. The, but the spa was nice. They also have a fitness center in there and a salon. So they have pickleball, which we played in uh, We played in Jamaica. That was fun. So maybe next time I'll come with Cam when he plays golf up here and he can, I can go play pickleball or something. But All right, we're going to Simple Cafe to get some breakfast. It's actually really cute in here. It's nice and colorful. You know how I love Seoul. Okay, and we're downtown Lake Geneva. Um, there's another restaurant down here that we're probably going to try tomorrow. Um, and the lady at the spa was telling us to come to downtown because they have free parking until February. So uh, she's like, oh, you're in luck because we have free parking. I'm like, awesome. Thank you. So yeah, how was your massage? It was great. It wasn't, it wasn't as deep as like the other ones because it was a relaxation side. Good. It was very nice. I liked how heated the, the table was. I was like, yes. I need, I, was, I, I need her to turn that heat up on mine. It really wasn't warm enough? It was warm, but it just wasn't as warm as I was. Oh, mine was, mine was hot. Mine was burning me. I was like, yes, burn me up, sis. All right, can we the tacos? French toast, of course, you know I'm a French toast head. You know what I'm saying? I got tea as well. Bakery. Bakery and markets. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we just finished eating up. She finished up eating at a simple cafe. It was good. It's pretty good. We'll have to come back. We don't live that far. I was looking for new breakfast places. I'll be loving you. Now, we're just gonna go chill out, I think, because later on, we're going ice skating. And it's very, since it's so cold out here, we'd like to stay warm until then. We were gonna go skiing again today, but I, I was like, nah, it's too cold, bruh. I'm sorry, yesterday, it was like, it was really cold. Like, my hands were freezing. So, we decided to only do one, door, one outdoor activity today. We were gonna have an igloo dinner. Um, tonight, but I think the igloos are closed due to the weather. Oh, really? I think so. But the igloo dinner isn't even going to be at uh, Grand Geneva. It was at this lakefront restaurant over here called um, Pier 290 or something. So we're still going to go to Pier 290. Um, just not, we're just not going to be sitting outside because it's too cold. Yeah, we're going to chill out. Um, until later, we have ice skating at four. That should be fun, I love ice skating. Um, I haven't been ice skating in so long. I used to go ice skating at the Parks Mall all the time. <laughs> uh, which is weird, because it's a ice skating rink in Texas. But I mean, that's not weird, it's just like, it's an indoor ice skating rink. So I've never actually ice skated in a cold climate before. So I feel like that would be more fitting for where we live or whatever. Because the last time we tried to go ice skating, the line was way too long in Millennium Park downtown. Um, the line was way too long and yeah, so. This will be our first time ice skating together. Listen, me and Cam are doing all kinds of new things together this year, okay? All right, I love to see it. We love adventurous Camtoria, you know what I'm saying? Um, we're doing new things. This is our first time doing like a heap of snow activities, you know? So I feel like checking things off my bucket list so yeah summertime this place is beautiful it's, yeah it, it's beautiful and it'd be lit really that's what the lady at the spa was saying she was like oh yeah didn't you come up here with bridget and them to take pictures nope um because i had text i was like where y'all at she was like downtown i was like i'd be forgetting like down like this area it's just so because it's it's like a nice little quaint little it's like when we went to i have to come back uh was it fort collins 
Uh huh. It was in Colorado. I'll have to come back in the summer. I've never been to Geneva in the summer, but I've heard great things. A lot of people come here. Um, I mean, it's really cold right now, so I can see why. You know, people you know Jennifer why. did a weekend up here. Mm -hmm. I know. I know people come here. I just I never been. I for some reason was thinking that Lake Geneva was super far. I thought it was like way up by Kola or something. Um, but it's down to Skrizny. I didn't even know that. But um, yeah, we got to come back in the summer. I see the potential. I appreciate winter time. I think winter time has its place. You know what I mean? I also, I'm a very perspective kind of person. So I appreciate all the seasons because I know that they're all important. Um, also, I'm a winter baby, so I'm always going to stand for my for my season, but... Um, you better stand for your season. I stand for my season. <laughs> I stand. It's like, I ride for my city, but I, I stand for I my stand season. for my season. Like, wintertime gets a bad rep, and... Is it bad rep or bad rap? Rap. Or rep. Mm. Bad reputation. Mm. And then, rap sheet. Bad rap. Mm. <laughs> Bars. It's like Blake was having this conversation on her uh, Instagram the other day about is it on site, like on site I S, no S I G H T or, or on, on site, site. Either way. Ooh, that's another good she one. was like, when you say it's on site, what is that called? A colloquialism? Is that right? Uh, when it's the same word but different meanings or, or different is it spellings. Double entendre. I think it's a double entendre. Look at us being grammatically astute. One thing about us, we ain't <laughs> We wordsmiths, okay? We, we, don't, not we, don't, we don't look up the word. But I do want to know, like when we say is on site, is it's it on one, site? Because, because she was like- A site, like a construction it could be, site. It could be like, or when I see as you- as soon as I lay my eyes <laughs> upon you. <laughs> is it like it location? It on site. Is it based on location? Bye, bye, bye. Is it like, I'm gonna fight you based on location or I'm gonna fight you based on when I see you? I think I personally think it's on site. Like when I see you, it's on site. Like on site, I'm going, we going to box. <laughs> but at the same time, it could be when we in the same place at the same time, it's on site. I'm a box. You know what I'm saying? It could be my, my, either my. one. It really could be either one. So it's either on site. if you understand or the saying, do you know, do you think it's on site or this site? I'm gonna put the words on the screen so you can choose. And then is it bad rap or bad rep? I think it's bad rap. Um, but yeah, wintertime gets a bad rap. And, you know, I stand for my season. You know what I love about most about wintertime? It's peaceful. I love the peacefulness, despite the weather. I, but I personally love snow. Um, snow is beautiful i love when it's like blankets of snow everything's white you know i love that it's so peaceful even snowstorms as damaging as they can be if you're in the house and not going anywhere they're really nice because it's a storm but it's very quiet um it's a peaceful storm and uh, i love winter clothes i personally feel like winter clothes are way more fun than summer clothes yeah we're gonna go chill and then we'll reconvene when we are ready to ice skate. Okay, y'all, so we have a very secluded ice skating date right now. Uh, it's just me and Cam out here by ourselves. And Cam is out skating. This is his first time ice skating. I think he's doing pretty well for his first time. Go, babe. You're doing a great job. You're doing amazing, sweetie. You look so focused. You look so focused. <laughs> you did good. You didn't fall. Oh, shoot. That's harder than I thought. Mm, this ice is slippery. How is it normally? Is it normally... Go, Vicky. Go, go. They got this joint set up for pros only.
Rusty. Rusty Wallace. Okay. I see you. Rusty, see I see you. Let me know if I can help. The Galleria. Oh no, you skate. You said you skate at the parks. Uh huh. I don't think I've ever skated at the Galleria. I don't really have an ice cream. Okay. This is fast ice. Are there lights under? You see where it's blue yeah, light or green? You're doing good though. I mean, I used to be really good. Yeah, because normally like ice rink ice is definitely like there's like it's, Yeah, it's kind of rough. Some cool kids over there are doing some pretty cool tricks. Meaning like I'm I'm nice on this on these skates. Come on, babe. I see you. You better be skating. yet to learn how to skate backwards on any type of skates. I can't do it. I done got a little used to it now, here. This is the only snow thing I'm good at. Look at the lights. Whee! You're getting better. I think you're getting used to it. I keep turning on accident. <laughs> All right, so that was fun. Little ice skating adventure. What a fun excursion. <laughs> Warmth. Ooh. All right, we are at what's this restaurant called? Pier 290. 290. You know, we're I'm here right before they close, here. so ain't nobody in here. Yeah, we, we got, got the whole restaurant to ourselves, you know? basically. Cam got what you get? Sea bass? I got the Chilean sea bass with the mashed potatoes. They got some little Brussels sprouts and you know what I'm saying? Little fruits and vegetables sprinkled on the side. <laughs> or as they say, garnished. Huh? Garnished. And I got this uh, steak stroganoff. I love stroganoff. So I got steak stroking out. You know, we in here by the- I'm stroking your knife, all right. Oh, right. We in here by the fireplace Edit and the vibes are lit. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it in there too. Right before they close, getting our food on so we can head back. Right, we need to hurry And go to one. sleep. We the last, I'm tired. We about to be the last Mohican. Yeah. Right. But uh, yeah, so we'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. Hello, good afternoon. Today is Friday and today we are going snow tubing. It's just like, <laughs> sliding down a snowy mountain on a tube. Sounds fun to me. Um, doesn't require me to have any athletic skills, which I'm happy about. The skiing was a bit much for me. And the uh, ice skating is fun, but it also requires a little bit of skill. So, so we're going to get something to eat right now, I think. Gonna get something on the way there. Grab and go situation. But today is our last day. Um, kicking it in Wisconsin. You know, little staycation vibes. Kind of, sort of. Even though it's like kind of in our neighborhood, but not really. You know, it's good to like take time away from your regular schedule to, even if it's just down the street. This is what I be trying to tell y'all. Even if it's just down the street. 
a trip, a vacation, time off. It doesn't have to be a trip around the world. You don't have to fly all the way to Bora Bora to take time away from your regularly scheduled programming. You know what I mean? You can go down the street, stay at a resort for a couple of days, and have fun in your own backyard. Definitely glad that I had the chance to, you know, spend time with Cam, of course, but also vibes, good vibes, relax, you know, do a few activities, but also relax is good. Go to the spa, just take time away to the spa was clutch. rest. Yes, the spa was clutch. The spa was definitely needed. I was definitely in need of a, I didn't even want to get off that bed. When I tell you I didn't want to get off that bed, it was so warm and toasty. I was like, yes, just hold me. It was a warm hug that I needed. We're gonna go snow tubing, snow tubing today. I had to pick up Gigi this morning from the um, sitter. She's, we. I feel like I haven't seen my dog and spent time with her in forever. Cause we never, we haven't seen her much this month. So we picked her up this morning. She's at home. So spent a little time with her before we headed out today. Cam had some stuff to do with his car. Um, this morning, so we're basically checked out of Grand Geneva at this point. We just decided to do adulting, get kind of back into the adulting swing a little bit. I think he had to get some tires, new yeah. tires. His y'all, I we didn't even tell y'all all of the hullabaloo that's been going on behind the scenes. We'll catch y'all up. Actually, I can catch you up now. So <laughs> basically, this year we're getting our lives together. Okay, if you are Life with the Logans member of the Life of the Logans Club. Status elite, if you're an elite status member of Life of the Logans Club, you know how long we've been trying to get our lives together, okay? We've been trying to renovate this house, get stuff fixed. There's always something going on because this is adult life, okay? Adult life is literally, you solve one problem and have to fix another, right? So, I do remember us telling y'all how we paid off the Jeep, right but then it seems like the tesla is needing all of these things when did you get hit? Got hit in august he got hit in august his car got hit in august it was parked he wasn't in it it was a it was parked the lady hit his car so then that had to be fixed but now we're still like dealing with that so we're gonna get a new wrap so we'll show you all the wrap process this time maybe i mean not the process but We'll actually talk more about it because last time we got the wrap, we didn't vlog that. We just popped up with a new wrap and didn't say anything. But getting a new wrap put on, the old wrap had to be taken off, but it's like halfway off. Um, so we're getting a new wrap for that. But then we were having issues with the charge port, I think it is. It was freezing outside and we're like, it wouldn't charge. The car is not charging. Um, so, like, we ended up having to Uber home one night because the car would not charge and they couldn't do anything about it. Like the lady was on the call with us trying to, you know, help him fix it. Wasn't working, car died, had to get it towed, had to take an Uber back home. Then he had to drive back to the, it was just a lot. It was a lot going on with that. Got the charge port fixed. Now I gotta get new tires. The Jeep is fine. There are things on it that be messed up, but I just let it be messed up because, <laughs> because this is a rugged car anyways. So I just be like, you know what, it's fine. It's fine if the air vents don't wanna, don't wanna work when we get in the car, it's fine. Just, you just gotta turn it a couple times and then it'll, it'll do what it needs to do. It's fine if my lights don't work, it's fine. It's fine if my car play doesn't hook up when I want it to hook up, it's, this is fine. Hello. So yeah, that's life. Talk to you guys after he gets off the call. All right, we're about to snow too. I brought my face covering jacket today because the last couple days my face been cold, bruh. We're about yeah. to go snow tubing. Which way is tight? Just pull it. Which way? She snatched it from me, y'all, like I'm some bad little kid. Ooh. Ooh, this looks scary. Ooh. Ooh. How do we get back? 
get up and bring it here. Leave it where you're going, guys. Oh, you ride the little thing up. There's a little lift. <laughs> Ow. Ready? Feel 12. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> was going so fast. It went faster than you thought it did, huh? Heck yeah. <laughs> that was, that was All right, hold on. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Over. Bruh, it can't tip. It's not going to tip over, but. I was turning around in circles. Um, man, mine would start spinning. I was, like, I was spinning in circles. Oh, I was like, wait a minute now. <laughs> I started having snowmobile flashbacks. <laughs> it goes so fast. Look at that. You gonna go down again? No. <laughs> Why not? I did not like that. You didn't I like did it? I like not feeling in control. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like anything where you feel like you're not in control. I was learning something about Cam. <laughs> if the activity doesn't require his control, he doesn't want to do it. I like ice skating, I wasn't in control. Yes, you are in control when you're ice skating. No, I was not. That ice was in control of me. <laughs> I need to go to the one that stops you faster. Bro, I almost ended up in the field. <laughs> you almost had to jump off. Nope. Babe, there's nowhere for you to go, though. Like, it's not like you're going to fall oh, off a cliff. Oh, he came back. He came back. I'm still not doing it. <laughs> Come on, babe. One more time. <laughs> uh, and he's done. I'll do it one more time. You sure? All right, y'all, my hands is cold, but I'm gonna go down one more time. I gotta put you up, though. Well, that was fun. <laughs> I'm so glad I got to do that. That's probably the best snow activity I've done so far. Really exhilarating. I felt like I was on a roller coaster. I haven't been to Six Flags in probably like six, seven years, so that was my Six Flags moment. <laughs> but yeah, it's been a great, a great couple of days of snow activities. We had fun. Um, so yeah, gotta get, gotta get a good recap with Cam. Hold on. Kelly Clarkson, Martha Stewart. My nose red. Look at it. Little Rudolph. Little Rudolph. Rudy Huxtable. Overall, how did you enjoy snow activities? Ah, it was fun, but we've had an extremely cold winter. It's been so cold. It like, was, it was, it I was feel fun like, though. Yeah, what was your favorite activity? Favorite activity? Mm -hmm. Even though like the first go round going down like I was terrified tubing was actually really dope 
But there's only so many times that like, you can go up and down and be like, okay. I could have did that four more times, but <laughs> that's just me. Uh, Tuvia was dope. Ice skating was really fun. My first time ice skating, I didn't fall. Doing cool things with your wife. You gotta love it. We have no more time left. But yeah, this was just great. Great. Thank you, Wisconsin, for having us. <laughs> that face. <laughs> Whoa.